How do I tune my DSLR for different lighting conditions? How can I play with depth of field quickly? How can I capture portraits with a soft blur background? If you have all these queries and questions, this session will answer all of them. Welcome everyone to another session of Nikon DSLR tutorial. Now in this session, we will be talking about various exposure control modes. Let us start with aperture priority auto mode. Now if you intend to have good shallow depth of field in your portraits as well as if you intend to have greater depth of field while shooting a landscape wherein you want foreground as well as the background crisp sharp, this is the right mode to go for. Now in order to shoot in aperture priority auto mode, you need to switch your camera to A mode. Once you switch your camera to A mode, you just need to rotate the command dial and the back side of the camera. Now this dial will help you change the F number. Now in this mode, camera automatically will adjust the shutter speed. So you do not have to worry about the shutter speed. As I told you, in A mode, camera gives the shutter speed automatically and you have the liberty to change the aperture. But in case you are not satisfied with the exposure given by the camera, you can actually override the exposure by using this plus minus button. This plus minus button is called exposure compensation button. By pressing this button and then rotating the command dial towards plus size, you can actually brighten up your images. Similarly, if you rotate the command dial towards negative side, you can actually make your images underexposed. Let us have a look at some of the images shot in aperture priority auto mode. Now here is an image that gives you very shallow depth of field at aperture f2.8. Now at this wide aperture, the depth of field is very shallow. You do not have to worry about shutter speed when you are in A mode. If you want a greater depth of field, you need to increase your f number because you want both background as well as foreground in focus, crisp, sharp. So f11 will give you a very good depth of field. Moving ahead, if you want a very good greater depth of field, you can further increase the F number to F18 if the lighting condition is very good. In this case also, you do not have to worry about the shutter speed. Thank you for watching this session of Nikon DSLR tutorial. We hope you enjoyed this session. In the next session, we will be talking about shutter priority auto mode. Until then, this is your Nikon buddy Abhishek Singh signing off.